Hello, I'm Jim Morningstar, Director of In Wellness. Today's Life in Wellness series topic, Finding Meaning, the 11th life area of our wellness wheel, creates a personal context for all our wellness topics thus far and has profound implications for our ultimate health and well-being. Today's class will assist us to clarify what gives our life meaning and how we can choose to lead a more purposeful existence now and in the future. Regularly take time to make note of your appreciations and gratitude. Love wholeheartedly, be surprised, give thanks and praise. Then you will discover the fullness of your life. A quote from Brother Stendhal Rost. The experience of gratitude has been acknowledged as a strength or virtue in every major religion and tradition around the world for thousands of years. It's a sense of thankfulness and joy in response to being a recipient of something. The word derives from the Latin root that has to do with kindness, generosity, and giving and receiving. There are two main types of gratitude, personal and transpersonal. Personal gratitude is directed towards another person. Transpersonal gratitude is directed towards God, a higher power, or the cosmos. The experience of gratitude has long been associated with health benefits, and now modern research substantiates it. Researchers Robert Emmons and Michael McCullough found that among other benefits, people who keep a gratitude journal appreciations list, or other similar intervention on a weekly basis experienced the following. They exercised more regularly, reported fewer physical symptoms, felt better about their lives, and were more optimistic than those who recorded hassles or neutral events. They were more likely to have made progress towards important personal goals and experienced less depression and stress. They enjoyed better sleep quality and duration. They experienced more high energy, positive moods, alertness, enthusiasm, determination, attentiveness, and energy. They were more likely to have helped someone with a personal problem or offered emotional support. They had a greater sense of connection with others. Another outcome of their research was the distinction between gratitude, a humble receiving that requires no repayment, and indebtedness, a feeling that one has to repay a debt. Those who reported feeling indebted to others experienced more anger, lower levels of appreciation, happiness, love, and connection with others as compared to those reporting the feeling of gratefulness to others. Here's a simple, significant exercise you can do to experience the effects of gratitude in your life. Design your own gratitude ritual or exercise that fits your needs and lifestyle. Keep a journal, diary, or a list. It's been called by different names, including a gratitude journal, a blessings diary, or an appreciations list. Call it whatever you like. Write down at least three experiences or things for which you feel thankful. Do it from one to seven times a week for at least a month. Notice what happens. Share your appreciations and gratitudes with a supportive friend or family member. Daily emails, phone calls, or dinner table sharings can create a wonderfully positive glow, especially if what you're appreciating is another person. If you don't have someone you're comfortable sharing with, just write it down for yourself and be sure to read it again after you've written it so you can bask in the warmth of the gratitude. Savoring gratitudes is a very effective way of amplifying your experience. Your entries can be anything from the smallest noticing, the way the sun peeked through the trees at sunset, to the largest events, my daughter's wedding, See if you can find new things to feel grateful for, but don't worry if the same items keep coming up. The important thing is the experience of thankfulness, appreciation, blessing, or gratitude. 
I personally can attest to the value of this practice, having done it for over 15 years. It never gets old if you do it from your heart.